Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to do a screen replacement on an Acer Predator gaming laptop. As you can see that the screen flickers, have pixelated lines running across it, especially right in the middle here. You can see dotted lines. Sometimes they go fuzzy and it flickers, it jumps around. More likely, the screen needs a new replacement. All right, so let's jump right into it. I'm gonna do a shutdown here. While the computer is shutting down, I like to uh, get ready some of the tools. I do need to have a metal prying tool or a plastic prying tool to kind of pry open the bezel. Right after the bezel is open up, the second thing we need to have more likely a Phillips screwdriver. I believe we do need to remove the screws. I might be wrong in this process. Um, let's go ahead and shut it down. Okay, so it's shutting down. Now, um, if you're going to ask, is the computer better to have the battery disconnected? Yes, it is. So first you need to do is to disconnect the battery, get a Phillips screwdriver, and go ahead and remove all the screws here. So I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver here. And this is the PH1. I think this is yeah, the Phillips 1, PH1. I noticed that the laptop has some missing screws. So you do need to remove all the screws. And I recommend you to uh, pay attention to the screws because some of the screws are not the same. And you want to make sure you know which screw belongs to which um, to put the back up, the bracket back in afterwards. Okay, so let's disconnect the battery and start replacing the screen. At this point, I just removed the entire back cover. Here you can see that the connector is connected to the motherboard. All you have to do is to slide the connector down. That way you just disconnected the battery. Okay, once the battery is disconnected, the next step is to go ahead and uh, Open up the bracket. Be using a metal prime two to go in between. Remove the bezel. Once the bezel is removed. We need to remove the tape. Now, this is the uh, adhesive tape that is taping down the screen. It looks like the tape here is on the top right corner. Once you pull the tape out, So that is the uh, adhesive tape that I just pulled. There's one on the top right corner. And there's one here on the top left corner. I'm holding the screen because I do not want to have the last pull on the adhesive and then yank the LCD together with the cable. I do not want you know the cable to get snapped. So holding down the LCD while pulling off the adhesive tape. At this point here, you can lift the screen towards your body, close it down towards yourself. I'll be using a plastic prying tool. You do want to flip open the little clipper here. But before you can do that, you need to um, 
make sure this tape here is peeled. We do need to reuse the tape, so just kind of peel it backwards. Open up that little clipper. I'm using a plastic prying tool just, just to flip the clipper open and slide the connector away from you. So slide it to that side. Then the LCD screen will just pop right down here. Here you can go ahead and identify the model. If you're not sure where to buy the screen, go check out the model here. It says B156HAN08.2. If you're not sure where to buy the screen replacement, go check the link down in the description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the screen replacement. Alright, now here is my screen. So let's go ahead and uh, set up the screen here. I don't have the exact same model, but my one is a compatible version. It's NE156FHM-NX2. So that is a compatible version screen that I have here. We'll find out whether it works or not. It claims to work, but we'll see. Okay, so have the clipper is open. What you want to do next is to slide a cable down towards the screen and then clip it and secure that LCD connector. Once the screen is secure, remember the tape. You're going to pull the tape here to re-tape the LCD. Now the screen is not going to stick on its own because we pulled the adhesive. So I recommend you to buy this uh, double-sided adhesive tape. And again, this tape is to re-tape it so that the screen doesn't fall off. What I like to do here is I like to tape it, um, which is given the plastic right here. So I like to give it a little bit extra room. You can see that the tape is sticking above the guidelines. And that way, it gives an extra, extra room for the LCD um, so that the next person who repair the computer able to identify where the tape is and it can pull that tape for the next repair okay now do you need to tape it all the way down i recommend you to do that but i'm running low on the tape so i'm just going to give it half the length of this uh, adhesive tape here uh, this red tape is very sticky i i believe with just half of this is more than enough to hold the screen all right, so once I have the adhesive tape being taped down here, let's go ahead and peel off the tape. You want to rest the screen on top of it. So double check the LCD connector, making sure that it is good in a position. And let's go ahead and close it down. Okay, once you have the screen in place, I like to kind of press it gently from the top and the bottom using my four fingers supporting at the bottom and my thumb is kind of giving the guide to press on, just press it down. Okay, once it's in, let's go ahead and make sure the this film is ready to be peeled, but I like to peel it off at the end of the, uh, the repair. So let's go ahead and install the bezel. The bezel is very straightforward, there's nothing special to it, all you have to do is just to uh, press it down on all corners and then the bezel will just go right back in. Okay, here at this point what I like to do is to go ahead and reconnect the battery and I like to turn on the computer making sure things are all working in a position what I'm expected to have. Okay, so let's close it down. Let's reconnect the battery by sliding it in. Push it all the way in. That should do it.
Do not forget to put all the screws back together. But for my case, I just like to turn it on and make sure it works before I put all the screws back together. All right, I just press the power button. I can see that the Predator screen is up. I can see that there's a display on the LCD and there's no flickering screen or bezel pixelated right in the middle. So it looks cool. It looks nice. And there you go. So that's how you replace the screen. And again, check the link down in the description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find this screen replacement and uh, hopefully with the rate adhesive tape that you need to re-tape the screen down. Okay, do not forget to put the screws back in and that should be all. And if you do find this video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button. And if you feel free to show gratitude and show appreciation, uh, please click on YouTube. Super thanks. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.